transubstantiated and materialized. It merged into everything that is with and within us. Now that we know Tao is present universally and yet difficult to be recognized, there had been prophets and preachers trying to make us know and understand the origin and the truth of life through various teachings and literature since the beginning of civilization. They were scattered around the world throughout history. As a result, great commandments were taught to disciples and goodness and badness were differentiated. These teachings varied, based on differences in culture, background, timing and the level of each individual's comprehension. However, they all tried to express and transmit to their descendants, this creator and chief of the universe. It is God, or what we call Tao. As we get to know it more and more, we will realize that the essence of Tao and its effect covers every existence without any exceptions. Tao is actually the headwaters of all religions. It embraces the essence of all the preaching and teachings. And yet, it is superior to the system of belief. It is the nature, the universe itself. Tao or God represents the highest authority and power of nature. It is also the headstream and superior to all. It is the unchangeable principle. Understanding Tao allow us not only to discover the center of all religious belief, but also to communicate with the origin and the highest power of nature. We will then be able to relate ourselves to the truth of the universe. To probe further, Tao existed before the formation of all, yet it was not anterior, which means that the creation was embedded in it. Tao emerges into the creation, yet is not posterior, which means that it is not thereafter limited. Among those created, however large, they can be measured, However small, they can be detected. It is only Tao that cannot be measured of its immensity nor detected of its existence. Therefore, it is larger than the largest and leaves nothing excluded, and yet it can be smaller than the smallest and leaves nothing not penetrated. It is ubiquitous. It merges into and governs all. It is in charge of the space, the earth, human beings, all the creatures, and all existences. It penetrates and regulates the entire universe. It is the source of all the scriptures, sutras, as well as dharmas. It encompasses all the religions, and it is what makes one a Buddha or a saint. It is the single chief of all. And, above all, it is in charge of each individual too. It is the Divine Self. This is the true meaning of Tao. We should get to know it this way and rediscover our own invaluable treasure. So, to practice Tao is to revive one's own conscience as well as everyone else's and to act upon it accordingly. Then, all people can be of one spirit, all nations can be in peace like a family, and the great harmony will come true. How precious Tao is! I, I. Dao and Emi the significance of Tao is in its immensity and ubiquity.
its mightiness guides the universe to carry on with changing seasons and evolving creatures. The countless aspects of the natural phenomena seem so capricious and yet really in order and in cycles. This almighty being also resides in each of us. It is the divine self, the natural quality of a person. It enables us to see, to feel, to taste, to hear, and to move without learning. While we research the ultimate truth in the universe, we should turn in upon and see into ourselves to discover that divine self. We will find the rules that govern the universe also comply with the way we are. Tao is not something too far to reach, nor too mysterious to comprehend. It is nothing particular, but has to do with our daily lives. We cannot do without it. Every movement we make, in order to see, to touch, to feel and to think, is associated with Tao. Consider how many wonders are hidden in our body, how delicately our physical functions are carried out. For example, when we shake hands, the components involved would include the coordination of joints and muscles, the chemical reactions of energy, the transmission of information through nerve systems, and the actions occurring in our brain such as issuing orders, making judgments and analyzing situations. Even with the most advanced technology and the highest level of knowledge we have developed today, we cannot completely reconstruct such a function. Yet the ability to perform such a simple movement is there for all individuals, regardless of the level of a person as knowledge and his slash her being a grown-up or a baby a scholar or an illiterate. Theses are the kind of abilities we come equipped with naturally, without learning and being taught. It sits within us and is in charge of all. It is Tao, never diminishes nor inflates. Worldly knowledge acquired through learning can be forgotten. A gymnast can abandon his slash her techniques and a musician can lose his slash her skills without practicing. The essence of Tao and its extension are always in charge of the macro universe the nature, and the micro universe the human being as self. We are associated with it unconsciously since the first day. Because it encompasses the whole nature within us, we also call it native self. Tao is within and surrounding us. It needs not be worshipped nor debated over. Because its existence is unconditional, regardless of race, color, nationality, religion or status. It is impartial and stays constant. In receiving Tao, we not only find the origin of the universe, but also the Divine Self. We get to know the highest power in the universe as well as the genuine nature in charge itself. We discover the ultimate truth of the cosmos as well as the integrity of ourselves. Recognizing that the laws which govern the universe also govern us makes us be able to return to our true nature. To probe further, the most essential concept in Tao is that we all possess it intrinsically. 
it is the wisdom and ability we were born with without learning or practicing. It is one as conscience, which is like the Spirit of God the Divine and Immortal Nature. It is invisible and intangible. For this reason, we call it genuine emptiness, which means that to be really empty, it goes 